recording. Oh, yep, I guess. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hi, this is Kat. <laughs> and I'm doing a grid uh, today. And it just kind of occurred to me while I was sitting here, starting to go through all this stuff, that maybe it would be helpful to watch me do the actual grid. So um, this is the photo reference, and it's one of the otters at the Minnesota Zoo. I love going there, and I love those otters. And for some reason this day, they were being really goofy. There was some no noise going on and they were standing up. So I'm going to do just this guy. Um, and what I did was I started I started using a pencil, but I'm thinking you guys are not going to be able to see the pencil. So I know my panel that I want to paint on is 6 inches by 12 inches. So it's half as wide as it is tall, which makes it easy for me because then I can go, okay, I need to go some size here and then have half the size across. So this is eight. Oops, I thought it was eight inches. Oh, crumbs, it's seven. <laughs> How did I do that? I guess it's seven. Okay, I guess I need another inch in there. Um, let's make it eight. So I'm going to go up to about here and down to there. All right, and four over is still there. Okay, so... So, and I'm folding this to make it a little easier because then you can see what I'm seeing. So the reason we grid stuff is because gridding um, gives you a point of reference so that you can do things proportionately. And okay, did I mark that on the way? Oh, nope, I didn't. Sorry. My actual eight inches is up here. What are you eating? Oh, the Kleenex. Sorry. My pug was eating Kleenex. I had to do a little rescue dive there. And so, let's see, here we go. Um, and you know what I'm gonna do too, because this just, it feels goofy to me that all you're seeing is my hands. So I'm gonna, well, no, I guess. Well, here, I could do this, couldn't I? Hi, it's me. <laughs> you can see my gold teeth really nicely. So this is my setup. And I've got a camera that I borrowed from school. There we go, now we're in focus. Okay, so this is six, eight, blah, 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 eight inches by four inches. And I'm going like this to grid it again. And I'm gonna put a line down that fold and then I'm folding again. I find folding really helps. And if you're sick of looking on screens like I am, it's nice to be able to print stuff up. And even if you print it up in black and white, like I got this guy printed up in black and white, that still really helps because you can get the forms and you can get your values in awesomely. And then if you want to look at your screen for a little bit of reference for color, you can do that. But really, value is key. So here's my little otter, nicely gridded. And here's my board that I already marked. Like I said, it's six, it is six inches by 12 inches. So I've marked three inches, which is a quarter of 12, six inches, which is half, and nine inches, which is three quarters. So I've divided it up evenly, and then here I've divided, oops, it looks like I didn't mark it down here. <clears throat> Need it. So there and there. There we go. Boop. Shimmer beep boop boop boop. Okay, I think you can see that. Yes. Oops, you don't need to see that. But I'm trying to make sure I have the light on here i've found that sometimes you can't you know my 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 computer screen is really dirty i'm realizing um i do like to sketch things upside down which can help i'm actually going to just sketch this right side up but the other thing i'm going to do is this box where my head is i want to break that down a little bit more because that head is pretty important bunny stop it she's ripping up her bed again so it should be two inches I think it's two inches by two inches, so I'm gonna just break that down. Break this down. And this one, you'll do this one with a marker so I can see it and you can see it. So there's that line. And then, why does that not look like it's ringing true? <laughs> okay, so when I do that, that gives me a much better idea of where the otter's sweet little head falls into this space. 
I'm realizing I'm not liking sitting on this chair, so I'm gonna sit on this stool. Which helps me be above and see down onto it. Okay. Don't need the ruler anymore. Oops, yes, I do. I lied. So this is gonna be one and a half by one and a half, and then this will be the same one and a half by one and a half. Hopefully I did that right. See, in the end of this ruler, for some reason, it looks like it's been chewed by somebody. I wonder who that would be. Possibly a little pug puppy who lives in my house. Okay, so my otter's head, oh, good Lord, comes up to here. Okay, we've got a little whiskery bit. What are you eating? Bunny, get out of it. Oh, gosh, that dog. We buy her dog beds constantly and you know what she does as soon as you buy her dog bed she eats it eats the whole thing but it's you know she loves them she wants to cuddle in them but then she just eats the whole thing let's see so there's an ear let's see and this piece comes over here bunny stop eating your bed stop it i sent Dwayne with max and a friend of his down to the park to take photos of their lego figures they like to set their little Star Wars guys up in the grass as if they're actually on some planet Oops, in the movie, you know what I mean? <clears throat> and so it's kind of fun because they take turns, they set them up and they take photos and then they make like a little photo essay of their figures being, what's the one with the Ewoks on it? Somebody will know, I'm sure. I don't remember which one is the one with the Ewoks. <clears throat> the planet, I mean, not the movie. That's Return of the Jedi, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see, and here's one little footsie. Do you see my little footsie there? And it's kind of a nice wide little hand. I don't often do paintings of the otters out of the water, so these are kind of fun. And I like having the photo reference, especially for a real critter, because it helps me see what I'm supposed to do. Oh, she's grabbing the Kleenex in here. Oh, good Lord. I can hear you. Here, see, this is the pug. Look up, bunny. That's the pug. Just causing so many problems. Just thought you might like to know. Let's see. I think my otter's little chinny chin comes further down. Let's see. There's this neat. I like that line there. That's how he's turning. And I want him to look more muscular than chubby. And then I also do like the rock formations behind them. I want to kind of see just a little bit of this because I want them standing on this one. I don't feel like I got that toe quite right because there's a lovely little nail. His toenail, not a hammer and nail nail sticking in there. Okay, well, let's see. Okay, I think nose is angled more over here. This is just a little bit of an eye on that side. Okay, and you, do I not have that? I might not have that wide enough, do I? Yeah, maybe that's a little bit better. Okay, well, let's go with that. So there's my little sketch. Let's grab a little brush and a little paint, and let's paint it. Let's see, so I was painting a big painting the other day, so I've got a gigantic brush in there that I have not cleaned yet. Probably my fault. Sorry about that. Let's see. Now the dogs are going to wrestle. I need to sip tea. Oh, boy, my, my palette is starting to stink. Oh, and I have no yellow in it. Can you see that? <laughs> mm. I'm drinking some Tazo tea. Mm -mm -mm. Don't stick your brush in your tea water. I need yellow. I know you love to hear me bring around my kitchen, my dining room here to get stuff together, don't you? So there's some yellow. My lid, my lid went flying. Okay, your lids. There we go. Alright. There. 
here we go. Paint, 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 diddy, paint. No, oh, that's the dogs. They're wrestling. I'm going to do another video about dog wrestling if you're interested. Okay. Um, here, I want you to be able to see everything, and I'm not sure that you can. I mean, not that you have to. There, that's a little better, maybe. I can go back a smidge. I just, I think the palette is the big thing. Okay, so I, I am painting from the black and white, aren't I? I sure am. But I know the otters. Oh, see, these are going away. These are going away. Yeah, that's okay. Let's see. I tend to see. Okay, I'm doing one of those things where I'm talking without thinking about what I'm saying first, which gets me into trouble because then I start blathering. What was I going to say? I was going to say, to me, the otters are kind of purpley brown, but then I have to think about what color do I want the rocks to be back there. And so I am mixing. See, I wonder if that's, is that too much with those lights? Or is that too dark? That seems a little too dark. Okay. But I need to do something to diffuse these lights so that they're not, maybe that's, is that okay? Maybe that's okay. All right. Gosh, you know, I don't mind feedback on these videos either, because that would help me. All right. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Good Lord. Maybe someday I'll get somebody professional to help me out with these videos and they can fix all those things. Okay. So that's a little fleshy tone. I think I want to go browner, which in my world means I want to go oranger. And it's being a little peachy right now, which is not what I want. I want it to tone down a notch. Hmm. What is that? Is that any better? I think there's a chunk in there. That's why you got to clean your palettes out too, people. Because if you don't clean your palette out, you get left with chunks. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think maybe I did like that lavender-y color. We're going to lighten it up just a little bit so I can take some of this. Schmerp, schmerp. Mm hmm. There's just a hint down there. And I think I'll take this just a little perhaps grayer there. Yeah. Now I'll tell you, I think I was doing this once and somebody said, but isn't that dabbing? And I'm like, no, it's not dabbing. It's I'm putting in a small amount of paint in a specific spot with a quick short stroke. And I'm, I'm trying to be precise about where I'm going, which is why I'm... Oops, that's a little too dark. Dabbing is when you keep your brush loaded and you just keep tap, tap, tapping, and then you end up with these repetitive strokes that are not quite as interesting as strokes that are placed more precisely. I sound like I know what I'm talking about. I just, I will have, and I'm not doing one stroke per color. I think you can tell that. I just wanna try to shape this face, which I love, but I wanna get like the right angles in there so that you can see how those little whispery bits go. And you see it's, it's a little highlight. There, I'm leaning way in here and blocking your light, aren't I? Let's see, fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. And a little bit of fuzzy for that chest bit. Ooh, and there's a little highlight on that paw. And a little bit going on around there. Okay, so there's some of my little, my chubby little, uh-uh. Okay, he's not chubby. I just said he was not chubby. He's not chubby. He is not chubby at all. We're gonna make the otter be the more purpley, I think more purpley blue. And then I'll have the background be brownie blue. Because I want him to have, boy, I want him to have that brown. There's like a, there's a brown here. Can you guys see my palette box? There's a brown you can get <laughs> by mixing purple with some yellow. Let's see, that's a little, that's a kind of okay, but it's not quite as blue. That's more blue in it, so it's darker. Let's see. And some of him is going to be left black too. So I'm kind of. Keeping an eye on how that thick, lovely coat grows and where I want there to be 
mention of light in it. Shmurp, 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 shmurp. I think it was Liz Severson who first started doing the shmurpy stuff, and I think I picked it up from her. It's just kind of fun to talk your way through your paint, actually. Believe it or not. Let's see, and I do have some serious glare from my overhead light on this, so it's a little tricky for me to even see everything. <laughs> I do have a puppy finally laying down behind me. We've already been for two walks today. It's like you'd think she'd be a little knackered. A little subdued, but yeah, pup, pug puppies aren't the most subdued creatures I've ever come across. I don't know about you. Okay, so I am also doing what I call flashing my eye, which means I'm looking from here to there, to here to there, to here to there, to here to there, to, to see if everything is kind of reading the way I want it to read. Am I seeing what I want to see? Um, is this ringing true with that? Let's see. I'm doing pretty good here. I'm kind of happy with this. Okay, um, I'm going to let the otter be for a little bit and play with my background a little and see what I can do in terms of contrast back there. In my mind, the otter in my mind, <laughs> in my mind, this critter, actually I'm going to use a slightly bigger brush. That was the eight, and now I'm grabbing my ten. And for this painting, I'm using my Royal Soft Grip, Royal Langnickel Soft Grips. And this is the ten, which you can get. I'm pretty sure you can still get them from Dick Blick. And if you can't, you can uh, send me a note, and I've got some on hand that I can mail you, or somehow we can figure out a, an exchange or something. So I'm going to go browner with the rocks now, which maybe I want to go yellowy greeny browner. And these, I kind of would like to be a little bit more abstracty back there. And up here, they are darker than the otter. Let's see. So I'm going to stroke them carefully around here to shoot some parts of him. Let's see. And while I'm doing this, I am looking from there to there to there to there to there to there to, there to, there to make sure I'm getting... <laughs> I think people may have returned from the walk. Because there was just a big bang in the front. Or maybe that was the gate. Maybe that was the gate banging. Yep, it's the gate. Good lord. Sorry, did, did you see me jump with that one? Because I sure did. Hi, guys! Hey, I'm doing a video! I'm recording, so can you? Thank you. I got. I finally found out how to switch my um, pictures. Good. To, into my album. Good. Lucas is a big help. Yeah. Dad, don't wonder where Dad is. Where is Dad? Um. Um. Dad has walked away. Oh, you guys got here before he did. He was just left. Okay, is he talking to somebody? Yeah. Okay. Peyton, Peyton. Okay. Oh, God, you live over there. He likes talking to people. It's nice to be able to talk to people. I made everybody go for a walk with me. I am recording, so I'm talking to the people that are watching me right now. So this will be very amusing for them that I'm having a side conversation with my son. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm putting in the light stuff. So if you can keep your volume down, Max, that would be helpful too. I'll be done in like 10 minutes. Seriously? Do you hear me? Like down. Wow, isn't this fun? You guys are getting a full life at Cat Corian's house. Let's see. Okay, so with some of this, this is starting to feel a little bit too light to me, but I'm still liking the, the chunkiness. Um... I'm adding a little bit of water so that it's not quite so thick. I have my squirt bottle right here that I'll use to squirt on there. This palette is getting rather used at this point. 
so I may be reaching a point where I want to adjust it and do a new one. Let's see. I'm kind of just funs, funsin, funsin, funking in the background here because I want to, I just want to feel the outline of the otter. And then up here, I don't want the background to be the most important thing. I want the otter to be the standout. So I am just about done, honestly, or at least as far as I'm willing to go in this video, because now I have a, another person in the house who's probably going to be making noise, and then who knows what's going to happen when the Duane gets in the door, so, and I haven't had lunch yet, so, um, gosh, I'm kind of liking it. I think there's a few little things I want to do on the head, Let's see if you guys can see it as well as I can see it. Um, I want to highlight a little bit of this down here, a titch more, so that we feel that he's shinier here. Might even be lighter than that, even. And I really, I love this curve of how his fur comes here, so I want that to stand out a little more. And I want to highlight his whiskers. Good Lord. I've been saying that a lot today. Good Lord. And it's just a little bit of an ear over there. And then he's got these whiskers. Maybe that's too much of a whisker. Let's get a little thinner. It's not terribly white either, is it? Did I mention otters are like one of my favorite animals? All right, I am gonna stop now. Oh, no, I want to my nose. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. There. Okay, I might do a little bit more, but probably not, but there's what I've got. I'll take a better photo and post it at the end of this, but thank you.